I went to Lesbos three years ago with the IRC, mm. which I'm a voice for. Um, International Rescue Committee, Committee yes. Yeah. And we went back to look at their mental health program that they're running and also to go inside the reception center Moria, which is a government run place. Run by the Les Greek government. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and no one's really been in there before. What did you find? It, it's appalling. It, may, it, it was unforgivable. I spoke to a lot of people who, who were in there who were stuck there. It's unthinkable. I mean, it's horribly unsafe for women and children. The women don't use the toilets at night. There's no lighting after dark. Because There's... they're afraid of getting attacked, just, just... I mean, rape is an everyday occurrence. Are you serious? Yeah. Rape is an everyday occurrence? Yes. That is shocking. Yes. Why do we not know this? I don't know why we don't know this. It was, it was horrendous to listen to stories. Did they give you any assurance that, that they were going to help people in this regard that, I mean, is there any security that they can put there to make sure the women are safer? I mean, the camp is manned by police and military. They also have six psychologists on site. I don't know how often that is. You hear very, you hear very different mm -hmm. tales from the officials, tales from the people that are in there. The medical team come and go. Mm -hmm. I think they find it overwhelming. They don't have a place to uh, work from. There's a lot of illness in the camp. And people are just told, we'll just go to the chemist. So nothing's diagnosed. So people get ill and that spreads. It's, it's deeply unsanitary. And it's been going on for years now? Uh, for, yeah, the yeah. last kind of six years. Yeah. And at Christmas, it was full of 9,000 people. Now it's at 5,000. The capacity is 3,000. So I, I dread mean, to think. What's going to happen next? I, I, look, I mean, it must be really different and very strange for you to come from, I mean, a fairly privileged environment Absolutely. where you're a Hollywood movie star, where you're Game of Thrones, where the whole world knows you, um, you have, you know, money and, and fame and all this, to go there mm -hmm. and see that. I mean, how much of a total culture shock was it for you? It, I mean, before I got famous, because I'm sort of a Yorkshire lass, you know, and I never expected this to happen to me. I've always had an interest in humanitarian work. I traveled to India as a, as a backpacker for six years running because I was obsessed with it. But I'd never seen anything like the refugee crisis. Mm. I'd never seen such a lack of humanity and um, sort of carelessness where people are concerned.